Hi, everyone. I'd like to present our new method for improving perceived hardness. Position-based methods like spring and spring damping models are one of the earliest methods used for rendering stiff objects. Later, event-based haptic rendering methods introduced, in which a high-frequency transient force response occurs at contact during interactions with hard virtual objects. These methods still have limitations because of the existence of inertia and friction in the haptic devices and their limited force and torque capacity. Here we introduce a new rendering method that combines augmented reality and encounter type haptic display method that we call ETHD. In this method, we modify an off-the-shelf haptic device by detaching its stylus and use its end effector as an interaction point between the stylus tip and the haptic device. And we can change the physical hardness of this end effector based on our desired hardness. The main benefit of this design is that we can render hardness and stiffness separately. For our experiment, we use a Falcon haptic device and we use a 3D printed untethered stylus with an embedded force torque sensor and a magnetic tracker. We also put plates with different hardnesses on the end effector. We then run a user experiment to compare our ETHD method with traditional methods, including spring, spring damping, and acceleration matching models. Our comparison stimulus was three different soft to hard materials that were placed on a piece of wood or a foam. First rendering condition for the ATHD was the device's stiffness, which was tuned to match the comparison stimulus. And the second one was the hardness of these plates on the end effector. Um, we chose these hardnesses to be in the range of soft to hard to match the comparison stimulus. We used two haptic devices. The right device with the attached stylus was used for traditional methods, and the left device with the detached stylus was used for ETHD. Participants compared uh, the sensation of tapping on the comparison stimulus uh, to tapping with these haptic devices. They compared the sensations uh, on realism, hardness, and compressibility. The ratings for ETHD method was more realistic than others. We also saw similar trends in the ratings of hardness and compressibility. Also, we found that people preferred ETHD method more than others. Please check out our paper for full details on our device and results. Thank you.